What is up Blender fans, in this tutorial I'm going to show you how to master the camera in just 7 minutes. You'll learn how to track objects, lock the camera to the view and make a turntable animation and discover two insane free camera add-ons. Seriously, they are awesome. If you like my video make sure to subscribe for more and I just made a discord server so the link will be in the description if you want to come hang out. Alright, so the first thing I'm going to show you is some of the basic options surrounding the camera. So by far the easiest way to position the camera is to just move around in the viewport and get to the position you want, say here, and then you can click Control out 0 on your numpad and as you can see the camera will uh, snap straight to the view. So once you've done that you can press R if you want so you can rotate it and you can press an axis like Z uh, and then you can rotate it around that specific axis. So you can also hit N on your keypad and go to the view panel and then you can select lock camera to view so as it says you can uh, now move around and it will lock the camera to the view alright so to set the active camera you just select any camera and hit control zero and it will set that as the active camera alright so now we're done with the basics I'm going to show you how you can track the camera to any object so the first thing you want to do is on your camera go to the constraints panel so we can add a constraint and now you want to add a track to constraint so now with the eyedropper you can select the object you want to track so I'm going to track the cube so now for the 2 you want to set this to negative Z and for the up you want to set it to Y now sometimes you might have to fiddle with that but generally the setup will work just fine. So now as you can see if I move the camera around it will track the cube. Alright so now I'm going to show you extending on that how to make a turntable. So the first thing I'm going to do is add a circle curve. Make sure it's not a mesh it won't work. So add a circle and I'm going to scale it up. So now you want, what you want to do is come to your camera and now we're going to add another constraint and we're going to add a follow path constraint alright so like before select your target which will be the circle alright so now check follow curve so it follows the curve and for forward I'm going to set that to negative Z just like before and the up to Y Alright, so you can see it's going crazy here, so make sure you have your camera selected and uh, make sure you press N to open up the side panel and go to item. Now if you hover over the location, you can hit backspace and it will set it to zero. So that way it comes back here and it's now actually on the circle. So now you can see it's still not actually facing our cube though, so what we have to do is uh, up this constraint here by clicking that little arrow and if you just move the influence down and back up you'll see it uh, is now looking at the cube. I believe that's just to refresh the uh, constraint. Alright so now you can go ahead and adjust the offset as you can see and if you want to animate that you could right click and insert a keyframe and then for example move forward, uh, change it and add another keyframe and as you can see it's uh, rotating alright All right, so now I'm going to show you some really awesome free camera add-ons so the first one is called render button slash camera manager for blender so I've got the menu up here so you get all these extra camera and render options so for example I can go and add a camera to the view so that's really awesome and then you get a bunch of options for example you can render it and uh, render a preview and a bunch of other options here and you can also lock it or use local and you can change the focal length and some other stuff here uh, straight from here so you don't have to go down into this panel down here and you also got some render options as well so you can render the frame and change it from a 
still shot to an animation and you also have some viewport render options so this is uh, really handy because on the odd time you do want to viewport render it's uh, a little bit tedious to go and do that so this add-on is really awesome and I really recommend you go check it out to install this add-on all you need to do is go to the link in the description and paste that into your browser and then you can scroll down and hit the download link here and then all you have to do is go to edit and preferences and then install the file after that you can hit N to open the panel I definitely recommend you check this add-on out it is really awesome alright so this next add-on is called real camera so this gives you a ton of extra options for your cameras so all you gotta do is select a camera and you can enable the real camera option and as you can see you get a ton of um, additional options here like the shutter speed and aperture so this is great if you are a photographer so you'll know how to set all this stuff up to make it look better and you also get some options in the scene tab so you can come down here and enable auto exposure and then you can change and play around with these settings for example the EV compensation so that's for as it says there overexposing and lower exposing the scene so that's quite useful so again definitely check out this add-on it's a really cool downloading this one is the same process all you gotta do is follow the link in the description and then you can come and click the download there and install it the same as the other add-on Alright, thanks for watching everyone. Definitely check out these add-ons if you want to up your Blender game and be sure to like the video, subscribe and drop a comment below for more and I will see you in the next video.